Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be how you can stay committed to your goals. Well, here's what I learned when I was in my early 20s and I first started getting into hiring people to coach me. I was reading book after book on personal growth, personal development, just anything by any business leader or authority on business or being an entrepreneur, just so I could learn everything I could and soak it up like a sponge so I could apply it in my own life. Because when you study other people who are really successful, and this is really important just to being successful in any area of your life, is that if you want to be successful at something that you're not good at currently, then you've got to study people who are already getting the results in their life right now that you want to have. So if you want to build a successful business someday, you've got to study somebody who already has the type of business that you'd like to have someday. Talk to them, interview them, find out how they did it, what their process was, tell them what it is that you want to do. Maybe even go work for a company like that so you can learn their business model from the inside. And then you can leave someday when you're in a position where you've got money and you've got knowledge or you know investors at that point. And then you can start your own operation. Because the quickest way to succeed at something in life is you want to model the success of other people who have already gone before you, who have already done a lot of the hard work of figuring things out. And so if you study their techniques and their strategies and then apply it in your own life, then you're going to succeed in yourself because if you apply the same techniques and strategies that they are in their own life and you apply that in your own then obviously you're gonna get the same results whereas if you didn't study other people and you figure out oh, fuck them I don't need anybody I'll figure it all out on my own and you just beat your head against the wall it'll, it'll take you three times as long and the bottom line is is that you only have a certain number of decades here on this planet to accomplish what you were sent here to do and so my attitude has always been to work smarter, not harder. And like one of the thing, books that I'm reading right now is the Steve Jobs biography that just came out. And I'm, I like to listen to the audio versions of books. And this, so I got the unabridged version. The thing's like 26, 27 hours long. But it's just one amazing nugget of knowledge from one of the world's preeminent billionaires and geniuses when it came to starting companies from scratch. And when you study a guy like that and you understand what he learns and how he built three different multi-billion dollar corporations almost from scratch or with the exception of like Pixar, he bought it from George Lucas. But I mean, it's like when you study that, you realize that each one of those companies took him 10 years from the point he invested or he bought them and, and took them over to the point where he was able to take the companies public and cash out his investment. And it's just... One of the things that he said that I've always believed is important and i found to be true is that whatever you do in life before you start on any goal or dream or any career or choosing any kind of degree to go for in college or to, a business to start is that you have to do something that you're really passionate about, something that you really love, the kind of thing. It's like when you look at Facebook or you look at Apple, I mean these companies were started in their garages. They weren't really started to be a business initially. They were just couple of young kids that wanted to build something they thought would be really fucking cool and the more they built it and the more other people found out about it the more they liked it and the more they wanted to get their hands on it or be a part of it and it just grew you look at Google or you look at I mean Google those guys got together they just wanted to download the whole inter internet so they could find a way to search it so you could actually find what the hell it is that you were looking for and that led them eventually to buy YouTube and enables me to talk to you the way I talk to you. And so the important thing to understand is that when you decide to go for something, you got to realize that most of the people that you know in your peer group are not going to strive and they're not going to go for their goals. And so when they see you going for it, usually you got, you're going to encounter two problems sometimes. The first one is, is that they fear losing you. <clears throat> they fear that if you succeed, then you're going to then they will lose you. They'll lose your friendship or you'll start spending time with other people because as you become more successful, you tend to want to spend time with other people that have achieved a similar level of success because they can relate to you. And if like all your friends are broke and then you start making money, it's the only time you can really hang out with them and go to nice places to eat is basically when you're paying for them. 
which can be a drag, and it just makes them feel uncomfortable sometimes. It's like not all friends, but some of them do. And it's just so you change. It's so you meet new friends. And so they worry that as you start to succeed that they're going to lose you. And they, and their way to try to keep you in their life is to tear you down and say, oh, that's a fucking stupid idea. You're an idiot to think that you could become a millionaire. Oh, there's no way that you could ever be successful in business. Why would anybody buy anything for you? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, those are the kind of things that you're going to encounter. Oh, you're going to lose your house. You're going to file bankruptcy. You're going to lose everything. Your wife's going to leave you. It, you know, that's the kind of shit that y you deal with from other people who, let's face it, are just simply weaker because people that are too weak to follow their own dreams are always going to have find a way to discourage yours because yet the second thing that creates a problem is that when other people see you striving for your dreams and going for it, deep down they know they should be doing, this, doing the same thing. But they're just too weak or they have too many excuses or too fearful, whatever it is, and so they feel by attacking you and getting you to just go back to the way you were just like them, just kind of like a zombie walking through life, on a conveyor belt to their grave. Basically what happens is if they can beat you down, then they don't feel so bad about themselves. But if you, the more you succeed, you're like a giant fucking mirror. You're basically a reflection of what they wish that they could be. And the reason people attack you is that you're a reflection of what they wish they could be. And it's very painful when they're around you because you're like a bright light reflecting on themselves and they just see all the things all their shortcomings and for most people it makes them feel very uncomfortable and so they naturally sometimes will attack you and but the the real reason uh, somebody taught me once was the reason that they attack you is because deep down they don't believe in themselves but if they attack you and yet you succeed anyways then it gives them reason to believe in themselves because they can believe in you because if you did it just like what Gandhi said you got to be the change you want to see in the world and so the thing you got to realize is that surround yourself with people that uplift you. And on a daily basis, I mean, if, if you're doing a goal, I mean, most businesses, I mean, you look at a guy like Steve Jobs, I mean, it took him 10 years to make a profit and make some serious money on those. And for the most part, he was losing money for the better part of a decade on just about every one of those businesses. And as an entrepreneur, you got to choose something that you love. And the most important thing in business or as an employee working for an employer is that you got to find a way to add value. I actually did a video on this called Find a Way to Add Value. You can Google Corey Wayne, find a way to add value. But where I focus on that, the point being is that though in anything, whether you're an employee or a company trying to, to provide a product or service, is that the number one most important thing you have to focus on is finding a way to add value to people's lives to provide a product, a useful product or service because wealth doesn't come from chasing wealth directly. It comes as a byproduct of providing a useful product or service, just like I do on the internet with my videos and the articles and answering guys and, and, and questions that women send in me about all kinds of topics, relationships, dating, life coaching, health issues. I mean, just all kinds of different things that I can put people in contact with doctors and other experts that I know that will help you. I just simply share the best stuff and so people come here and they they listen to what I teach and they apply it in their own lives. They're like, wow, this shit really works. I mean, if what this guy's giving away for free is this awesome, just what it'll be, imagine what it'll be like when I'm paying him to coach me. And so I give it away to help people. Now, the majority of the people I'll never talk to or that, you know, they won't make a donation or they, but they'll get help and they'll move on and maybe they tell somebody or a friend like, hey, check out Corey Wayne's website. But that's how my business model works is I add value and people come and they find out about it and they see – they can read the value and they, they, they know truth when they see it. And they apply it in their own lives and they get the same results just like I say they do and just like other guys are getting in the other articles that they're, re they're reading. And so if you're starting a business, you choose something you're passionate about and love and go model somebody that's already succeeding at what you want to do. And it's all about finding a way to add value to people's lives by creating a product or a service. I mean Apple, what do they do? They create great technology products. What did Pixar Pictures do? They create great, entertaining, all digital, feature length films. And what did, what did the other company that he founded, Next Computers, well, that became the operating system that, that Apple uses today. And so it's like everything ties together in your life. And so choose some, something that you love, follow it, because in those 
because there's going to be a lot of days, especially if it takes you a decade to succeed. I mean, there's going to be a lot of those days, weeks, months, after years of losing money and not getting anywhere. And, and on a daily basis, people telling you how fucking stupid and what an idiot you are for for sticking, holding on to this for three years or five years or whatever it's been. You still ain't made any money in there. And you went up and ran up a debt in your credit cards or blah, blah. And the shit that they say to you, it's like if you have a passion for it, you're like, eventually I'm going to figure it out. Maybe it takes 10 years or maybe it takes 20 years. I just love it and so I don't care. It's not like work to me. And that's the same way that I approach making these videos. So if you find this message of value, you can show your appreciation by going down to the Wibia toolbar, which is located on my website at understandingrelationships.com. Click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information in this video. At the very least, please share this video with all your friends and family by clicking the share buttons, which are located at the top of this video, if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you have a question that you want to ask me or there's a topic you want me to cover in a future video newsletter, go to my website, understandingrelationships.com, and click the Contact Me tab and send me one to two paragraphs maximum detailing your situation, your questions, and just give me several days to get back to you with a response because I get a lot of email from the Internet, and I also get a lot from my paying phone coaching customers. And I have to focus on their emails first, but be patient and I will get back to you. And if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help with a challenge or situation you have in your own life is to book a paid phone coaching session by going to understandingrelationships.com. Click the products tab at the top of your screen and just follow the instructions. And I will talk to you soon.